Already before I even started recording, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. But I'm having fun. Pretend no one saw it. Haha. What else is weird? We'll find out. I'm manifesting aliens this year. They keep dropping all these monoliths everywhere, being like, here's a reflective surface. Take a look at yourselves, humans. You've ruined it. Cute, let's have fun. Hi, my name is Grace Helping. If you did not know, now you know your life is different now. Welcome to the first HelloFresh cooking video of the year 2021. Right? And not only is this a cooking video, this is gonna be an inspirational, motivational video because that's what you go to the internet for. You go to listen to people that are barely keeping their shit together tell you the exact way to keep your shit together. I'm not wrong. Stretch it out. The fun thing about aging is that the body responds by creating noises and places that you didn't know could make noise. Welcome to 2021! I guess, according to my phone and other various calendar devices, we have started a new year. Which means, I don't know, we're all supposed to get better now. <laughs> Whatever you've done to ruin it, fix it. And one thing that hasn't changed is that I'm making HelloFresh videos again this year. And they're gonna be just as fun as they have always been, if not more fun. As we continue on in this pandemic, as I do more introspection on myself and where I fit in the world and my purpose, I have lost a lot of to give. So let's jump right into it. What are we making today? I'll give you one guess. You've read the title. We're making pork flautas supreme. Essentially the same as enchiladas, maybe less sauce, I guess. This year, we're not going for the whole enchilada. We're going for the whole flauta. Let's make some pork flautas supreme and let's talk about what we can do to make this year slightly better than last year. I think that's where the expectations should be. Not great, we don't need to be great. No one needs to be great because when you're great, you only get worse. So maybe we just aim to be better. Better's fun and in this area. Great's up here, but out, out of frame, out of reach. So let's just aim to be better. Whoa, there's only four steps in this. Like the four seasons. Landscaping. <laughs> oh man, 2020, you're a nasty goof. So everything you need to make HelloFresh comes, oh wait, let's just, talking points. Let's talk about HelloFresh. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Not number two, not number zero, number one. So many recipes you can choose from. Low calorie, children friendly. <laughs> Is that how you say? Ooh, they got carb smart and low carb. Oh, no, sorry, all this is wrong. Low cal, carb smart, vegetarian and pescatarian options. And you can save time and stress effortlessly. I feel like we all used up all the stress that all of us were afforded in our lifetimes last year, perhaps. So this year, why don't we save some stress because these meals get on the table in about 30 minutes, 20 minutes if you get their quick and easy recipes, which are, guess what? I was gonna say like me in high school, quick and easy, but no, I was a quick and prude. I was on the track team and I didn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Health Fresh is sustainable because everything comes pre-portioned so there's less food waste. And they're very flexible. You can easily change your delivery dates or your food preference references at any time. I'm out of breath. I made myself a cup of coffee. Uh, Whoa, okay, it's a party. So let's put this dehydrating dirt water in our system and just see what happens. HelloFresh is dedicated to giving back. In 2019, they donated 2.5 million meals to charity and they have been upping it all through 2020 amid the coronavirus pandemic. So you can feel good about supporting a company that's trying to make everyone else feel good. Have we done the talking points? We've done the talking points. How did you feel about those talking points? I felt pretty okay about them. I feel like you got the point. I talked, talking points. Let's make this meal. Everything to make it comes in this handy dandy brown paper bag. This is also my fashion vision board for 2021. Whoa, let's open it and see what's inside. Woo! Also, my cousin got me this beautiful new cutting board for Christmas. Uh, it feels fancier than anything I have. So I can't wait to destroy it immediately. This is the first time I'm using it. Watch me ruin it. Also, don't forget that you can use this brown paper bag or what I call a very fashionable outfit as a garbage bag. I didn't even set up my other camera because we don't need it. Minimalism. Speaking of minimalism, look how many knives I have now. Both Elliot and I asked our parents for knives for Christmas and turns out parents love giving their children knives. Guess what movie I'm being? Knives out. Yeah, you, you Nailed it. First, we need to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. I... Well, 
If you're going to, I will. Oh God. You can't slurp coffee the way a dog slurps water. One of the first lessons of 2021, big one. Oh, I forgot. I dropped a cookie on the floor like two days ago and the crumbs are all right there. Wash and dry all produce. Oh my God, you guys look so clean. I'll wash you. I hope you guys had an okay New Year's. Did it feel like New Year's? I don't think so. Did anyone watch Dick Clark's Rock and Eve? Oh, that was troublingly depressing. <laughs> I don't know, don't cancel me. They, everyone was trying. You're going to half peel and thinly slice an onion and mince a few slices so that you have a tablespoon of minced onion. Now I have so many knives to choose from. I feel like a bachelorette. Who wants to get to know me? Would you like to get in the helicopter? Great. I'm so nervous about cutting this cutting board. I'm getting one of my old dirty cutting boards instead. I literally just got this in the mail like two hours ago and I don't want to ruin it. This is growing up. Yeah, this lady's seen some knives. Did anyone make resolutions this year? I have not. I never really make resolutions. I think I'm afraid of success and I'm afraid of failure. What do you call that? Stuck? <laughs> is this the right knife? This is not the right knife. It's serrated. I need a different knife. Look at me evaluating my choices and pivoting when necessary. Have I learned to adapt? No, I just have too many knives now. That's much better. One actual major resolution. I have to stop playing Scrabble Go so much. I play all the time. It is now turn from like a cute fun little habit to blow off steam to now like a uh-oh I don't know how many hours of my day have spent trying to spell the word haze in a spot that gives me 50 points instead of 43 points I mean there's worse habits to have but this one's just like kind of sad if you guys have any resolutions please let me know I'm curious about the things that you're gonna disappoint yourself with this year what are we ow are we <laughs> good morning and afternoon you know what i am gonna set up this other camera angle because there's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen on the stove i'm just like course correcting in real time is this good or am i just not prepared what'd you guys talk about while i was gone my butt cool thank you stop recording i don't know when but Lost. Step two, we're already a quarter of the way done. We're gonna heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan and we're gonna add our sliced onion and cook for three minutes. Also this pan, have I talked about this in the video before? <laughs> okay. This pan is one of those Our Place pans, is that what they're called? These are one of the Our Place Always pans that I bought months and months and months ago through an Instagram ad. And I thought that I was being a little impulsive buying a pan that costs more than I normally would for myself in the kitchen because you know, I don't do but it's been the best freaking pan. All right, I guess I can only have one branded thing in a video at a time. Anyway, this is a great pan, big fan. It's a lot of onion. And I just found out that I have SIBO again. And I shouldn't be having onion, but I'm gonna have it for you guys, little bits. I'm trying to be really good and responsible. And then sometimes I'm not responsible at all. Some might say it's frustrating. I say it's unpredictable. And if we've all learned anything from 2020, it's that we love uncertainty. Cook that for three minutes and then we add our pork and our Southwest spice. Did I defrost it? I think I did. I defrosted it earlier. I am back at being good and responsible. Okay, while that cooks and it affects our audio in a negative way, I'll drink some black coffee. Natural intestinal cleanser. That's what I say. Take my word for it. I'm a girl on the internet spouting it confidently. Ooh, it smells like onions in here. That was my impression of a tapeworm entering my body. I almost just started playing Scrabble Go just now while I was waiting for these onions. That's a problem. Now we are going to add our pork and our Southwest Spice Blend and we're gonna cook for four to six minutes. Sorry vegetarians and pescatarians. Sorry all the Aryans, librarians, veterinarians. It's all, it's sorry, I'm just sorry. The cute thing about this pan is it came with this little utensil that has a hole in it that you can do this. Look at that. Okay, now we're gonna add our Tex-Mex paste and a third cup of water. I know this is for dry ingredients, but all this I had to give, you know, they ran out in 2020. We've added our Tex-Mex paste and our third cup of water, and now we're gonna simmer it for two to four minutes until it's thick. Again, another applicable uh, idea for 2021. When you add a new ingredient to your life, simmer with it for a little bit. Till it makes you feel thick. You get it. Does simmer mean low or does simmer mean high? Simmer down now from SNL. Simmer down now. So like turn it down. Simmer down. Simmer down. Down. Low. Deductive reasoning. <laughs> See that? That's another teaching moment for 2021. Find yourself a pan that lets you hover on the edge of it perfectly when you're all gross and 
covered in gunk. That's friendship. What was in that coffee? So now we need to get our tortillas ready on a clean work surface. Let's create a little workstation here. Let's bring our pork mixture over. Over. I am from the mid-Atlantic. So as we take a tortilla, cover it with olive oil, both sides it says. We're gonna put our pork filling in and some cheese. Then we're gonna roll it up and put it seam side down to bake it in the oven. Here we go. We put a little cheese and then we roll it and then we put it seam side down. Cute! Last one. Oh, we got a lot of mixture left over. The other fun thing is that when you're done, you can just eat the meat with a spoon. One of the coolest things you can do as an adult is eat anything any way you want to. Now we bake in the oven for 8 to 12 minutes. This is not recording, but basically all I did was scream at you to wash your hands, so. Wash your hands. Let's put you back. Oh, I left my burner on the whole time. Fun for me. I've started calling my home the house of sophisticated children, and that is a perfect example. I have 27 knives, 14 cutting boards, and I left the burner on. Unattended. While they bake, we're going to finally dice our tomato. More like, finally, dice our tomato, am I right? <laughs> zest and quarter our lime. This reminds me that I need to zest my upper lip later. Fully zested in that lime. <laughs> Tick tock. Does that reset me and make me young again? I say it once. We're gonna combine tomato, onion. I'm not gonna put all of this in there. I'm already pushing my luck. Half the lime zest, a squeeze of lime juice, and some salt. Wonderful. Now in another bowl, we are going to combine our sour cream. Oh, wow. I don't know why <laughs> sour cream just immediately depresses me so much. Sour cream is like the Eeyore of condiments. Here I come. You can cry when I'm around. <laughs> we add the remaining lime zest. We season with salt and add some water until it reaches a drizzling consistency. A beautiful sound. And that's basically it. When these are done, I'm going to plate up our flautas and top with these two concoctions, and then we'll see what we have. I said cock. I know. This is my impression of Dick Clark's rockin' New Year's Eve. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. This is how they look in their profile picture, and this is how they show up, and you're like, I get it. 2020 was a tough year. Okay, so my plating leaves a little to be desired in 2021, but it's always good because we can get better. We don't want to be great. We just want to be better. Ooh, before we wrap, mm -hmm. make space. You got some incoming customers. As always, if you are at all interested in HelloFresh for yourself or gifting it to someone else, go to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code 10 Hellbig to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Okay, let's try this. I should have filled them a little bit more, but that's okay. We got spoon beef for later. Mmm! Yeah, I'm so into it. Oh man, I'm really into this. Mmm! Well, an onion tried to jump out of my mouth. I've had worse. Woo! Yum! Wait, this is delightful. I forgot that the gift of cooking is literally the end. This is really fun, guys. I hope that you had a great time. I hope that you have a good new year. I hope that you set yourself up for attainable goals if that's what you want. And if anything, you don't have to get great, just get better. Other than that, I guess subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll be making more HelloFresh meals throughout the course of the year. I'll be doing some other videos throughout the course of the year. Don't forget to listen to my podcast, Not Too Deep on Mondays. This might get weird with Mammy Heart on Wednesdays. And other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Also, I'm using Lysol all-purpose cleaner for any of you that want to know. Hall, what do you call something that only cleans a dolphin's cousin? all poipus cleaner. Poipus? How do you... Por... Uh-oh, I'm not even high. What is it? Porpoise. Porpoise. all por porpoise cleaner. all porpoise cleaner. I really went to a different dimension. These guys might have taken me over for a brief moment, but we're back. <laughs>